Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the Shaved Inn. It's Thursday night and Friday is almost here. So probably by the time I get this video edited, it'll be Friday. Well, I'm going to be doing a shave today and I'm going to be doing a preview of some of the items that are on deck that are coming up in future shaves. And the shave I'm doing today is going to be with the leaf twig in berry blue. And I have it here. It arrived. I was supposed to do this video before I went to Hawaii or in Hawaii, but uh, I left before it was delivered. So this is kind of a follow up. I did end up using a leaf twig razor in Hawaii, but not this berry blue. Check that out. One of the coolest blue anodized razors I have seen. Look at that. And it comes in berry blue with a leaf stand. Now I heard uh, from the good folks at Leaf that uh, this might be the only month they're doing this color, which I think is a mistake. I think this color should be all the time. In fact, I heard they were sold out uh, of this color, but I'm encouraging them and I encourage you in the comments if you are interested in something that's cool. Uh, to let them know, hey man, keep that color going. Go, all right, here is the stand. And what's good about when I do one of the shaves, uh, the companies or whatever company's item I'm using, they often read the comments and comment because uh, actually they know more about the product than I do, for sure. It's their product. All right, look at the base. Berry blue. And I'm wearing a blue Tommy Bahamas today, but I won't be shaving with a shirt on. So this razor sits on the stand just like that. And I'm actually going to be using, I don't think I've tried these blades before, but it's actually from Leaf. And they have a pack of 50 uh, blades here, single edge blades for their cartridge. So I'll be using this today. And I've actually picked up another from Leaf, a really cool a blade dispenser. My dispenser I've had for years. You can tell that once it gets filled, I end up uh, dumping these into like a plastic cup and sealing the cup and throwing it in the trash. But uh, it doesn't hurt to have another one. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the razor shave today. Now, sneak preview, upcoming, upcoming uh, video. Got a new timeless razor to try. This is a DE, there's its stand. This is gonna be in an upcoming video. I can't wait to try this out. There's actually a, uh, a shave bowl. A good travel bowl from Timeless Razor. I'll be probably trying that out when I try out the razor in the future. There is a new scent coming out from uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's on its way. I actually got a, I actually received the scent before I went to Hawaii, but uh, it, there was, uh, the formula wasn't quite dialed in. So a new one is on its way and I will try that out. And I'm trying out a new system from these guys. And uh, I wanted to, see if I can preserve the blades, because you know, especially with cartridges, if you're using a cartridge, they're so damn expensive. If you go through them too quickly, it's very expensive. And DE blades, you know. So uh, there's a system called dry blade, and I'm gonna be trying this out, and I'm gonna get back to you and let you know how it goes. It's really a interesting container. You put your blades in here, and it takes out all the moisture that can cause corrosion and cause your blades to dull. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying this out and I will get back to you and let you know uh, how this works. So that will be coming up in a future video. All right, I think that's the preview, but for today, I'm gonna to be using the leaf razor and look what I brought out of hiding. Polo green aftershave, the real deal. I'll be using this today. I'll be using, uh, Oh, some leaf pre-shave oil before I use the soap. And the soap I'm gonna be using, Tobbs Peppermint. 
I'm going to be using this for the first time. I have not shot a video with this. This is from Simpsons. This is the Eagle 3, and it's a badger. So I'm going to be using this today. So let me change the shirt, and uh, we'll do a shave. So stand by. All right, we're ready to rock. Man, it's uh, Thursday evening, and I'm still on Hawaii time, so it's like 9 o'clock or California time, but it's like 6 o'clock for me. So... Uh, just getting up in the morning is, <laughs> I get up at 6.30 to go to work. That's really like 3.30 Hawaiian time. So it's taken me a while to get adjusted. I've only been back two days. So, all right. So let's get the Simpsons Badger into the crystal skull and let it soak. I'm going to, actually, I'll, I like to wet my face a little bit before I use the... Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to load the razor because I did that problem last time. Let's load the razor up. 50D blades. And I'll have links for these items in the description of this video. Now, what's good about uh, the leaf razors is you can use your own DA blade, DE blades. The blades are your, your, your favorite. All right. Hang on. Man. That is cool. All right, let me open this up. They must have more threads per inch now down here because it's taking, the other one kind of went whoop. This one, there's a lot of turning to get it up, which is uh, means it's been fine tuned, which I like. Look at that, just the color. I like blue, if you, uh, didn't notice. Blue and red. All right, opening up this blade. And I don't know where these blades are made. They're very plain, but I will put this in there. It's got a little magnet there. See that little magnet? I think that helps, boom, yeah, helps hold it in place. Then I'll turn this. See how many rotations it's taking? Lock it in, and there you have it. All right. Now, oh, hold on. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way, the preview stuff. All right, I'm going to wet my face. There we go. And I've got the oil here. Let me unscrew this. There we go. And let me dry off my hands just a little bit. You're supposed to take uh, the dropper. Eh, almost all the way up. I'm gonna put some on my hand. Probably, yeah, it's the right amount. I was in the ocean almost every day out there. With 50, 50 sun protection factor. I think I told you, I was at my dermatologist and they go, wow, you have a good tan. I go, thank you. And they go, that's not a good thing. I said, okay, okay, okay. All right. So the pre-shave oil for you people new to wet shaving, uh, just kind of gives a little extra glide before you put the uh, soap on. And Tob's peppermint cream soap. generally a soft soap. Yeah, yeah, see, nice and soft. But I don't want to do a face lather today, so I'm going to lather this in the bowl and push it down a little bit. See, push it down in there. And since I haven't used this badger brush in the Eagle, I'm not sure how thirsty it is. So we will see. Yeah, like I said, I was talking to one gentleman when I was mentioning the Berry Blue, and he said he ordered it. And then uh, now it, uh, he said at the time was sold out. Well, I, I hope they're not sold out because they, they have the Leaf Razor, which is three blades. They have the Twig, and they have the Thorn, and they're all in Berry Blue. Berry Blue, I'm saying it right. I used to say Blue Berry.
peppermint for sure. Okay. All right, let's try this baby out. Hear the feedback? Normally I use the blades that I'm familiar with, but uh, you know, then you never try anything new. Right away I can tell this is more of a mild blade. It appears more of a mild blade to me because I could hear it taking the whiskers down. Where the more aggressive, I don't hear anything. It's just, whoosh. but it's working. And if I'm trying a new blade out for the first time, believe me, I would rather have a mild one. Than an aggressive. Yeah. I find it to me to be on the mild side. You might find it different. And again, you got to remember everybody's skin, everybody's beard, you know, everybody's blade razor combo could be different. And not everybody's the same. And the twig is a mild razor. Oh man, but it took it down. All right. There are guys that do five passes. I, you know, there are guys that do one pass. I do two passes and it gets the job done. But to each his own, right? You guys can do three, no problem. I'm never telling you how to shave. I'm just telling you what my uh, experience on my skin is. But you can never go wrong with Tobbs. They have some excellent scents out there. Kind of like this brush, it's got a pinch point on it. You guys use Simpsons brushes? I have the Wee Scott. Well, how the heck did I get soap on my nose? But I do prefer the Chubbies. Just a personal preference. Okay, because that's what my dad used. little bit of feedback. When I'm done with this, I'm going to rinse off this blade. And I'm going to put it into that dry blade kit and see how it goes. And uh, if I use a cartridge razor, I still got my Mach 3 here loaded ready to go if I use that I'll put that it's really really going to help out the cartridge razors because you know what they're they're too dang expensive to be going through very quickly feedback getting the last of them oh man very good and it's nice to have a stand because then you don't have to worry about knocking it over or tipping it or anything like that and in fact I'm going to put it up out of the way here and I'll drop other things and let me rinse off
very nice. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not letting my daughter or my wife touch this one. This one I'm keeping. I'm keeping it right in here. I like blue, man. I like blue. All right. Now, I ran out of polo blue aftershave. Is this the day toilet? Oh, no, I did not run out of polo blue aftershave, but look. Well, it's kind of messy, but it's down low. My wife hates this, but I'm going to use it. I like it. I don't care if I smell like 1985. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. man, there's the burn. Well, that tells you two things. That tells me that that razor really got down smooth in the skin. And the burn is helping protect against infection and anything else. Man, if the folks at Polo are listening, not that they would, but if they were, man, bring back the aftershaves. Come on. You know, I mean, spraying and the stuff is okay, but you like to splash it on. Maybe it wasn't profitable. I don't know. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And I do look forward to coming out with some new videos very soon. Uh, trying out these other new items. And uh, like I said, that was the one I was supposed to do in Hawaii. And you got it here in the Shave Den. So berry blue. All right. So thank you, everybody. Stay safe. We'll see you real soon. Have a great, great weekend. Bye for now.